So I reacted to the Blue Lock Season 2 trailer the other day. It was surprising how many dislikes I received and how many negative comments I received on that video. Apparently, people didn't like that I liked it. They said I paused too much. And because I paused too much, I didn't see how bad it was. I watched it again, and I enjoyed it just as much. And I even paused it the second time. I had no problems with it. So people want me to hate it so bad. They're ready to press that fucking button, bro. They're ready to go off at me if I say one positive thing about it. Oh, your standards for animation. They're lacking. You're hurting the industry. Shut up. Give a damn, bro. If I'm excited for something, why you want to ruin my fun? I don't got to join your fucking tribalistic mentality. I don't got to join your tribe and hate this shit with my fucking pitchforks. It looked good. I had no problem with it, bro. Look at these comments. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Bro pauses so many times he didn't notice the PowerPoint. Peak art style, but God, this stuff looks like a PowerPoint. The filters feel so out of place. It looks like one of those manga animation edits. Uh, Let's see. What else? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. The studio is ruining it, bro. The animation looks like PowerPoint slides. Looks like fan animation. Uh, let's see what else we got. Hmm. <laughs> the bro has no right to use the pause button after what I saw. The animation, if I speak, I am in big trouble. Uh-huh. Season one is like a fever dream. Nick had then he lost his memory of the dream. Well, to address that, because I said I forgot everything about the series... Blue Lock was just a series that I reacted to while I reacted to 30 other shows. I did it once a week, and then I forgot about it. I enjoyed it every time I did, but I forgot about it. I'm going to need a recap. I'm sorry. I watched Naruto. I watched One Piece. I was watching Bishoku Tensei. I was watching fucking My Hero, Dr. Stone. I was watching a lot, all right? All right? So I'm going to forget shit. So let's see. Everything you need to know before Blue Lock Season 2. Are you guys excited for the season? Be honest. You can be honest. I won't bite. Maybe a little. Season 2 is fast approaching, literally less than a month away. Oh no, he's playing JoJo in the back. You guys are gonna think I'm gonna react to it again. From Aaron. See, you guys are excited. I'm excited too. I give a fuck about the animation. My opinion on that has changed over time. The more that I've been exposed to this culture, the more that I've watched anime, I've realized that I don't give a damn about the animation. For fuck's sake. Look at Attack on Titan. Remember those moments with like Zeke when he's fighting Levi and he's like... Or, or Reiner's terrible CG moments? At least it gives me a break from the madness and makes me smile for a few seconds. You know what I mean? Give a fuck about the animation. Just give me a good story. I give a shit. And it's been so long since the first season. Almost two years since... E two years, bro? It's been like two months for me. A soggy and that one song... Oh, it's not JoJo, it's Bleach was trending every same thing everywhere and with season two coming out in a few weeks i think now is an appropriate time to give you everything you need to know about blue lock season two hell yeah From the plot to the come on i forgot everything bro I, I think i know the names of two characters and one of them's not even there anymore Rivals, just a reminder to give i you still call the one guy sukuna oh let me not keep pausing again people are gonna get mad oh about blue lock season two from the plot to the rivals just a reminder to give you the best season two experience all right as well as final expectations and predictions before it airs in a few weeks we'll be talking and analyzing the trailers as well as the movie yeah let's analyze the powerpoint right guys Right? I did not watch episode Nagi. Nope, I'm saving that for a reaction. Of course. Oh yeah, Chigiri. That's another name I know. There will be no spoilers for this whole video as well. We're throwing all of that out of the window. There you guys you go. No spoilers. Anything about Blue Lock Season 1, it was go big or go home for these teenagers. It seems like any minute, any person could be eliminated. And that is the exact same case here for Blue Lock Season 2, but instead... I knew who was going to be eliminated and who wasn't. Come on. Come on, guys. Remember my reactions? I guessed everything. Of one person person it's all of blue lock yeah. this is what ego says at the end of season one because the japanese president wants to shut down blue lock there will be one final match i'm gonna say something controversial if there's one thing i don't remember from blue lock i guess or i don't know if there's one thing that blue lock's not known for when it comes to me thinking about it it's it's animation I don't think about Blue Lock and go right to, oh yeah, remember that season one animation? I don't know. I felt like it was maybe the sixth or seventh best thing about it. 
with Blue Lock's lives on the line. So all of oh. Blue Lock needs to fight in order to survive, literally do or die, their final destination. It ain't happy moments anymore. It's now a literal fight to the death. Yeah, I want to see death. On the line. And it's Bodies. Really for these teenagers. We've seen so many players crash out from failing Blue Lock because soccer is their life apparently. Oh yeah, Ichigo. He, I forgot about that. Apparently, yeah. Let's see, I'm watching Bleach. This is the only way out of the mud. Isagi Oichi is our main character who has experienced... What do you call him? ...is their life, apparently, and this is the only way out of the mud. Isagi Oichi is our... Oh, okay, okay. I thought he said Isigi. ...our main character who has experienced an emotional roller coaster, to say the least, throughout Blue Lock. I've never seen anyone go through the five stages of grief over a soccer game. Isagi has put... His you gotta watch Haikyuu, bro. <laughs> is all into every single game. Yeah, as he it's should. It's uh, f football's life. Far into the top 35. And that's w. where we are right now for season two. We reduced the original player count from 300 all the way down to the last 35 players. Most of these 35 players we have seen. You got your Bacharas, you got your Nagis. Your I remember Bachara, I remember Nagi, I remember Sukuna. Baros, and Baro. even though we've been following Isagi. Yeah, yeah, Ichigo, uh, Gin from Bleach, uh, Bakugo. And uh, yeah, other guy. And the others all this time, and seeing what they can do. Connie, I remember. The, I remember them. See, I remember more than I thought. It's not just them fighting. There are so many. Here we go. We got more colors coming. That's what I wanted, bro. New characters that are added into this new arc. Nice. You just know it's serious when someone's first dialogue. Is there he is. I can't wait to see Gojo. Talking that's about that's so... all. Who even says that? <laughs> this arc is really about to have the best of the best duke it out, all in order to survive. Even uh -huh. in Blue Lock, players are going to have to go against each other as they have to have a full team. In Look, guys, it's the PowerPoint everybody's complaining about. Cry! In that final match against the U20 Japan team, a full team means that they are going to have these... This sounds serious, bro. What the fuck? No wonder why people are telling me how good this arc's going to be. It sounds fucking serious. It's Blue Lock versus Blue Lock. It's the best of the best. Strikers play in the defense. Season one was like a tutorial. Spots, the goalkeeper spots, and the midfielder spots because you can't just have a formation with all 11 of them charging in. So, every one of the 35 players remaining are rivals fighting for a starting spot. And it's survival of the fittest, it's elimination. It's like Fortnite soccer be making every single person rivals this arc has genuinely been hyped to no bro does anybody die in blue lock this arc has genuinely been hyped to no end i feel like in every anime there's always one arc that manga readers have been waiting to get adapted this yeah, one this is that arc yeah oh, i'm fucking this ready is going to be you have the blue you lock blue lock season two haters can't ruin my hype boys who we've been following this whole time yeah. all fighting for their lives nice. and then the current best U20 Nick are you racist only a little players in all of Japan they're letting us know how fierce this battle is going to be and on top of that they're adding wait is that boss music yeah we got Japan Japanese prodigy Itoshi Sai is being added Itoshi Sai I thought this was Shigeru's brother at first or maybe Shigeru with shorter hair onto the enemy team Damn, this guy looks like a fucking unit bro 18 years old. Is he a male or female? It says MF, motherfucker. As a plus one, this is the equivalent of Sai. realizing they have a smurf on the enemy team. One of the best. Oh my god! I feel like we've seen this guy before players of the new generation is hired to go against blue lock and when you do a little investigation you know that Sai is Rin's brother. I know stellar. Yeah. That's what people making fun of me for analysis Hyrio, but you're telling me the guy that gave our main character so much trouble has an older brother who is already considered one of the best players <laughs> it's over we gotta F the goat is related to an even bigger goat Fef. it's hard to talk about him without going into any spoilers but itoshi sai has been tell me tell me everything first episode of the series oh so this guy's a big deal bro I actually forgot blue lock from his memory i am i promise you i don't remember a damn thing I'm just being honest with you. It's like I've never watched it. I'm going to rewatch it on the plane, and it's going to be like I'm watching it for the first time. This is the Shanks of Blue Lock. Just make him nonchalant. Oh, it's shit. It's been... the Shanks of Blue Lock that's actually going to do shit. Hyped up to be the big boss final obstacle in Blue Lock's way for the U20 match. And he has so both arms. He's about to pull off some ridiculous plays only seen in anime. When we talk about one Itoshi, though, we have to talk about the other. Isagi's yeah. throughout all of season one has been Itoshi Rin. 
Rin, ever since his introduction, was on another type of timing, flexing in front. I can't believe Connie's still here, bro. Of everyone with his skills hitting two balls in the air. Seeing that, the only right reaction is to be surprised, but I'm afraid he was cooking something far worse. Rin had final boss choir music playing whenever he received the ball. <laughs> he has that final boss aura. I'm not gonna lie, man. He just has that look. He has that look at his eyes. I'm not fucking with him. And I've that ain't no kid. I don't care what you tell me. That's no teenager. Plenty of anime to know mm -hmm. that when some music like that starts playing, it's going to result in something crazy. Rin yeah. has always been the obstacle in front of Isagi's way. and It's, it's like hearing the Sasuke theme or the pain theme. Still that way at the end of season one. And even though they are on the same side of Blue Lock, they are still rivals, They're rivals. just as much as they are teammates. They're trying to one-up each other. The dynamic of playing with each other was... Ex Look at that diarrhea order. Aura, love it. Lord, a little bit in the World Five match, and that's how Rin was able. We have any black people this season? Like, real question. Any black people? I'll wait. Yeah. Oh, nice. To score. Fuck yeah. So we could definitely look forward to a lot more of that and just their rivalry in general as it's been built up this whole time. Rin beating out Isagi. Isagi coming. Bro, everybody knows Isagi is better than Rin. Right, guys? Right, guys? Isagi or Rin? Let's be honest. Coming back for revenge and then Rin picking Isagi to join him as the only ever player to surpass him in Blue Lock. But there was only one character that was hyped up at the end of season two with a super villain entrance. Shido yep. Ryuse. Yep, this guy has villain written all over him, bro. Look at that stance. Hands in a pocket. You ain't Kilowa. You ain't. The third rival on this list. Shido. I don't even think you need spoilers to see how big of a threat he is. His first interaction with the main character was trying to kick his head off. When they took all of the East. <laughs> oh, yeah. He thought it was a football. Augie's budget and put it into this guy. Jesus, bro. Look at that. Complain about this. I dare you. Yeah, it's Gojo. A singular aura. You're already pre-sealed. You know he's going to be a menace. Full body. He entered the room and had glowing eyes. This is a great indicator. That oh, yeah, it's Ryusui from fucking Dr. Stone. You're right about that. <laughs> you know, some anime BS is about to happen. Shido was also the one who eliminated Kunigami. Who we oh, fuck. I never forget about this, bro. Eliminating Ichigo. Well, bitch, he got his own series. He saw before was a pretty prominent strike. You did him a favor. And side note, why was Rayo talking about... Fuck this lesbian. Kunigami's not fit to be a striker when he's been putting up a Mickey Mouse performance at this point in time. We saw him not get picked by Nagi and then Who is he? Oh yeah, he's a slut for lot and for Nagi. That's right. Was picked up They're lesbians. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Perhaps by Kunigami. Look at this, his girl. Kunigami in time. We saw him not get picked by Nagi and then was picked up as scraps by Kunigami and Chigiri. This is the equivalent as getting picked last at dodgeball. Nobody wants you, bro. And then again, it happened to him. How are you gonna let that happen twice to you? Rayo didn't get picked. You're a cuck! And then started to play the woe is me victim. Yeah, Nagi's slut. Victim card after he lost. So for him to say Kunigami was not fit to be a striker walking in with a 0% on screen win rate, it's just crazy to me. Getting back to Shido though, this devious smile was the only thing yeah. in the scene. I wanted to kill somebody. Fucking behead a player, please. I'll give you two players I want beheaded. Season two trailer. Guys, if one player could be beheaded, which one would do you wish it would be? Not gonna lie, if I see this, I'm running for my own safety. So we already know Shido is about to be a menace in season two. But what about the actual main rival? The U20 Japan team is the big... I'm really excited about this character, bro. He looks really interesting, honestly. Like, the thing about Rin, I mean, he's, he seems just like Rin. Do they have similar personalities where they're all just like... I'm the fucking best. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want to be there, but they want to be there. They want to be the best. Similar personalities. Or is he a little bit fucking goofy? Kinda? I figured, bro. He has the same eyes. The bad of this season. and the Like, look at him. Nobody looks this way unless you're selfish. He has a selfish personality. And I like that. They're all emo edgelords. Is that how soccer teams are? Oh, fuck soccer. I said it. My bad, bro. My bad. Y'all could be had me another day. Let me finish the stream first. But, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't know football pet players was so fucking, um, emo, bro. Only obstacle in front of Blue Lock's way. Obviously, I, I remember the soccer players. Yeah, soccer, bitch. I remember the soccer players from my high school. They didn't even speak English, I think. It was crazy. I'm like, how are they, like, in this school? It, it was weird. Like, I'd never spoken to them. Never. They couldn't speak. 
big bad of this season and the only obstacle in front of blue locks way obviously i can't go into detail since what did you say they didn't speak english there are spoilers but going off the trailer and what we know already from season one we already know they have an established team with every single player specifically made for their positions so while blue lock has to scurry around wondering who's going to be the look he has isagi's aura on his microphone defender and goalkeeper the u20 already has that advantage because they have specific goalkeepers and defenders and to help y'all too for the season i do think it's important to pay attention to the u20 i'm paying attention i'm paying attention as much as i paid attention to season one pan team again they are main rivals and enemies when i read the u20 arc originally i speed ran through it and there are no friends in football i've learned that now if i ever watch real life soccer or foot whatever the fuck you want to call it I'm just going to imagine all these players hate each other's guts. Oh my god. They want to kill each other, but they have to play together. Is that how soccer is? And didn't really pay attention to the enemy team. And I really wish I did because getting to know these characters it ain't a team and their sport. abilities is crucial. Paying attention it's to the me. U20 team specifically is crucial to a better season 2 experience. I do say this because in season 1, there are full teams where some of the characters we could seriously care less about. Like Who don't I care about? The characters you should care about are the characters you see from, from, from like, uh, if I'm sitting back here. I only see two characters right now, but I think in actuality, in reality, only one matters. And that's, uh, 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 Sukuna. I don't know these other players. And then you have the mushroom kid over here. I, I don't know. The blonde one looking like a high <laughs> Like team yeah, X, bro, it's we coach. only remember borrow from it. The trailer also shows us one character yeah, I, mean. I do want to highlight, and that's Oliver Aiku. Grand Dude, I can't believe this guy's an actual player. I still can't imagine. I thought it was like Isagi's dad. I said it was only two seconds, but the fact that he's the only one shown from the U20 team, excluding Sai, you already know he's about to be that guy. Take every compliment I said about Sai, Ren, and Shido, and apply it to this guy. Genuinely, you would- He's gonna beat those children on the, on the court. What's the court called again? What's it called? The, the, the field? Is it called the field? Or uh, I know, I remember there was like a name to it. The pitch. Yeah, he's gonna fuck the pitch. I think he's a main character with how much hype he's getting. Again, I won't talk about what he does because of spoilers, but knowing that he's tell an me. important character and that you should pay attention to him would definitely. You don't gotta tell me to pay attention to him, bro. I know. We all know. We see what we take one look at these characters. We know they're important. We know who's not important. All right. Yo, you don't gotta worry about this. Only be good for your season two watching experience. Now that two different eye colors, yeah. Rivals, though, name one person in your life that has two different eye colors. Put their full name in chat. We can really get into the meat and potatoes about our expectations about season two. Of course, these are the must talk about topics. Things like Stop. animation and pacing, also taking into account both season one and the movie. Just expectations all around. So what can we expect from season two? I think- and Guys, be careful with the full names. I'm, I might get banned for that. <laughs> I didn't know you're fucking serious. Oh, Uchiha Sasuke. Oh, yeah. Wait. You're right about that. He does have two colored eyes. Y'all are fucking nerds. I love you. Plot-wise, everything we talked about, like the rivals, the story, the plot, everything like that, Blue Lock has done good staying true to the manga, as well as delivering on the hype moments. So I don't think any cutout content or pacing would be an issue for this season. This is good because season one kind of suffered from this, especially towards the end of the season. Damn, no pacing issues. That's good. You know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid that the lack of um, quality animation that people expect it's going to ruin the season. Like, you, all I'm going to hear about weekly are how people are complaining about how the animation looked and how they ruined it or some shit. Meanwhile, I'm probably going to be enjoying it. Like, let's talk about the actual fucking story and be grateful for it. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm just alone with that shit, bro. The World 5 match was speed ran in, I think, like three minutes, and then a lot of players got off screen. So, yeah, there was a lot of pacing issues towards the end of the season. That was because there was 24 episodes for season one. If you don't remember as well, this is a 14-episode anime season. What the fuck? Bro, they're getting smaller and smaller. What the fuck? What do you mean 14? What, you mean it's split in cores, right? Like, the 14 episodes, core one. And then another, like, 12 or, 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 or maybe eight for core two, right? Don't tell me it's only fucking 14 episodes. What is this? Demon Slayer? Demon Slayer episode, bro. Oh my god, the new season's out. Oh wait, it's four fucking episodes long. 
often super important to know because they could spend a lot more time focusing on less episodes so quality increases all right they're taking out the pacing issues they're taking out the filler shit condensing it into this so you'd expect the animation to be top tier then so that shouldn't be a problem Take that with a grain of salt because the animation- Demon Slayer had seven? Bro, let's be honest. The newest season felt like two episodes because that's all that mattered. However, was the biggest problem in season one as well as somehow the movie? There has been a lot of talk of them saving their budget for season two or spending a majority of time on season two. That's why the movie lacked a little in terms of animation and adaptation. Wait, the movie lacked animation? The fucking movie? But people are complaining about season two already. Are they ever happy? The last episode was 45 minutes, so it's a phase of two episodes. But even with that being said, unfortunately, I personally don't think the animation will change or improve that much. There has been a quote-unquote leak about Blue Lock or just fall animes in general, and every leak should- I didn't hear anything bad about Dan the Dan or Uzumaki, bro. The Uzumaki reviews came out, and everybody's giving it high reviews. Uzumaki has four fucking episodes. I, people been waiting five years for this shit. Nope, you get four episodes, bro. That's just done. My flight just begun. The flight, my, my flight won't even be in the clouds yet. I'm done with the series. Be taken with a grain of salt, but it did say to not get your hopes up about- What does that mean? Two. Of course, that's talking about the animation and adaptation and basically saying that it's not going to be what we think the animation should be. Listen, listen to me right fucking now. I am excited for this season, I am watching every episode, and you're not gonna ruin my enjoyment of it. I don't give a fuck about the animation. This shit could be a PowerPoint. It could look like it belongs on the fucking SNES. I'm watching it. Give me a good story, good characters, that's all I need. Bro, is that George Washington? What the fuck is that haircut? Anyways, I'm excited for this shit. How about we wait until it comes out to judge it? Same thing with everything else. You know, it's 12 ep 14 episodes. Maybe that's all it needs. So I'm not even going to complain about the episode count until I see it all. If I feel like it, it needs more, then I'm going to complain. Yo, Dominic with the nine months, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. But yeah, I'm excited. Nobody can fuck that up for me. E or the improvements that usually come with Look at this. This looks sick. You got a little blue twink. A second season of any anime and literally as i'm making this video a trailer came out for season two so now we can analyze and share my thoughts on it i'm not gonna lie this is what my face looked like when i saw the trailer the animation is like i said more or less the same as season one the same cgi choppier movements it hasn't even been a day that doesn't make sense to me though all right genuine question like uh or genuine concern right here if you have 14 episodes for a season, which is abnormal compared to other anime seasons, wouldn't you expect them to go all off for those 14 episodes or just wait? Give it more time. Like, I could have waited another year for Blue Lock. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have been perfectly fine. Get, fuck it. Make it two more years. Like, I would have been fine. Just put more into it, especially if it's a hyped up arc. Put more into it if you don't want people to complain. I feel like shit should have be rushed. The fans will always be there. Like, goddamn, just th throw out, like, a, 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 a chibi version of season one in between to keep people fed. That's the production committee's fault. Yeah, that's why I would never punish the animators by not watching what they've spent their time on. I'm still gonna watch it. I don't care if it looks like a fucking Nintendo Switch game at the time of this recording and the memes and still frames have already hit everywhere it's also important to keep in mind although better than season one the literal movie for blue lock didn't have that much of an overall improvement for animation but even though there's a lot of Damn. complaints going on about the animation i'm still really hopeful i think you guys but guess what just like the people that bought tickets all of us are watching it and that's all that matters that's all they care about no going into season two we're all gonna the be first there season as well as the movie do the really good parts we can really complain all we want we're all gonna be there well for example isagi's goal against team b was really good yeah the of tag all of the important i forgot that happened moments that we know and love were done super well so even though overall yeah it was bro listen 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 <laughs> my low standards are ninja kamui as long as you don't go below that I'm fine, all right? That set the bar for bad animation and for what I'm I'm able to watch. So as long as you don't go below Ninja Kamui, we're good. And I think Blue Lock is fine, bro. I think Blue Lock's gonna be like up here probably.
overall i don't think the animation will improve we'll still have the problems overall with the cgi and or just the roblox looking is this real is this a real shot wait did i miss this no fucking way ain't no way to oh it's no okay i got worried for a second bro <laughs> i don't know i don't know but with the way people talk about the animation for this series i thought this was an actual shot from the trailer that i missed frames the moments that are important i think the animation or adaptation the studio does slime anime slime looks great i fucking love it bro and we'll be good for that because we've constantly seen that from both season one and the movie we've also seen some interviews about blue lock season two talking about how the u20 game itself took a lot of their time they put yep. a lot of effort and i'm gonna give my time watching it to it and considering so they are you shown us a single bit of the game yet they probably want to save it as a surprise as well as just say maybe they purposely put out the trailer with banned animation to get people talking so when the show actually comes out it surprises everybody and everybody's like oh my god right maybe that's the plan save the buddy it's like a sonic the hedgehog type thing I still think they released that first image of Sonic the Hedgehog. Remember that ugly Sonic? They did it purposely to get people talking. So when they change his design, everybody's fucking talking about it. Maybe Blue Lock because it's like Sonic Blue. Sonic is blue. Maybe they got inspiration from that. This is why you watch me. For the game. I think no matter what, we are still seeing it. Bro, his mic keeps changing colors. What the fuck is this? anime adaptation of one of the best arcs in blue lock maybe even sports manga in general damn would y'all say that would y'all say <laughs> nick's giving him too much credit bro i have faith i have faith in japan i'll always have faith in japan fuck what was i gonna say yeah is that cap bro is this the greatest arc in all of sports anime because i really fucking love haiku so i'm still happy no matter what i treated this video more as a recap reminder and discussion for season two as well as just my thoughts on what to expect based on the trailer and movie i really really want to know your thoughts on season two if you my thoughts on season two i have none because it's not out yet i said it you're excited or not hajime no Ippo is a banger i might watch that on my flight maybe what you think from the trailers and movies leave that all in the comment section down below i already have an anime downloaded for uh, my flight it's called wistoria it's actually crazy season two is almost here we're all gonna be here for the ride yeah we are we're all gonna be here on the same fucking motorcycle driving on top of each other perfect bro i'm gonna be there day one i'm gonna be in japan watching this new fucking episode 12 at night in japan i'm gonna have to do an asmr stream with a fucking pillow beside me so I can scream into it if anything hype happens. What up, AJ? Black Clover? Wistoria is good? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It looks interesting to me. I like magic. Maho, maho. As if I haven't watched enough maho, maho animes. Right? But I'm gonna... I'm watching Wistoria. And um, what else did I download? Uh, the fuck is it called? Dandy? Space Dandy or something? I downloaded that too. Yeah. Alright, let's keep it moving, bro. Um, Blue Lock Season 2? We're all going to be there. I speak for my chat and I speak for all the comments and everybody on anime.